This is the celestial update for uh, November 23rd. There's a lot of noise in the background, so I'm hoping you can't hear it. If you can, I apologize. Um, it's just kind of unavoidable, and that's why I use these now. Um, even though the sound quality isn't amazing, it's better than the background noise. So um, here we go. Bells will ring. There are massive spiritual awakenings happening within the collective right now. Know that these will not subside, but will continue to increase. I wrote a quick post on X the other day about multidimensional beings to help clarify all of the confusion with what or who ETs really are and a way to help you organize this within your mind heart to dissolve fear. Okay, so this is the post. Primal sound is the Holy Trinity. It is the divine mother, divine father, and divine child that created the cosmos. It is sits at the 12D level. The archangels are the personification of the seven rays. They are light. They sit at the 11D level. The Elohim are the architects of space-time. They sit at the 10D level. Angels could be considered advanced ETs and certainly have been in humanity's past. They are higher dimensional beings or superhuman, meaning above the heart. They exist at the 5D to 9D levels. Lower dimensional ET beings could be considered demons if they are subhuman, meaning below the heart. Those beings could be material in nature without the ability to activate higher will and personal angelic templates. Those are at the 4D level. Most beings, both lower and higher, do not exist in our same dimensional space. They are multidimensional in nature and therefore do not abide by the same material and Newtonian laws that we do. They exist and abide by quantum laws, the laws of light, frequency, and consciousness. The only way to understand ETs, angels, archangels, demons, and subhuman beings is to learn multidimensionality and understand the most simplistic explanation of the structure of the cosmos, which I talk about in my book. There seems to be some fear here of interplanetary visits, celestial beings, etc. The message is one of peace. You are being given signs and your guardian angels, higher self and spirit team is watching your back as well as supporting and protecting you. You will know if there is a threat that you need to take seriously. I do not think this is just concerning advanced non-human beings, but could be referencing scenarios such as war or changes in policies, politics, or culture within your city or country. Even health concerns. It is best to stay in peace within as anxiety will distort your lens. Know that you are protected and supported. That doesn't mean that you are invincible. It means that you will be guided and shown the way if, when needed. Simplifying the mind is key as when your energy, your heart, and your mind are harmonic and peaceful, you will be able to hear the messages and understand them clearly. There are many practical reasons why specific cosmological and natural laws are laid down at the inception of each human race that populates the planet. Planet Earth does not exist in isolation as it concerns the rest of the solar system or the Milky Way galaxy for that matter. In fact, there are many established as well as some not very well understood relationships which exist between Earth and its planetary neighbors. What occurs here on our blue orb does affect the other heavenly bodies much more than we realize, and vice versa. Of course, astrology enthusiasts understand that we are only stating the obvious. Therefore, when the scientists on Earth start to push beyond the acceptable limits, not only on this orb, but also in ways that impact our sister planets, there will be blowback effects which are as inescapable as they are unfathomable. Unfathomable. Sorry. <laughs> 
The etheric civilizations which inhabit these other planets have their own desires, their own karma, and their own right to evolve without intrusion from earthly influences. Clearly, those intrusions have reached an unprecedented crescendo because of the level of spiritually uninformed and wantonly unethical scientific achievement and technological leaps experienced by the current race of humanity. That was a quote by Cosmic Convergence. It was written in 2012, by the way. There's a message of the chosen one here. My personal opinion on this is that those that believe they are chosen ones are fooling themselves into believing an ego reality structure based on a false superiority complex gives them authority, which gives them authority, power, and elite status, which actually just pulls one deeper into the inversion. Regardless, this term is coming up today, and so I will clarify what it actually means. The earth in the planetary consciousness is evolving with humanity. Another, this is another quote from Cosmic Convergence. Of course, no one ever tells you what ascension really means. Rarely is it represented as the transformation of the field upon which the earth plane is laid. There are many different aspects and features of this field which are experiencing unprecedented change in real time. Looking at this planetary flux through the lens of Mayan cosmology in calendrics, these changes are indicative of the tightening of the time flow spiral and turning inside out, as it were, of the space-time continuum. The resulting time warps and compression of time experienced by so many also reflects this, pre this predicted transitional phase of a regular cosmic cycle at work. So what you are chosen for as the chosen one is one who has been self-chosen to align with the Ascension timeline, which is the diamond core 5D through 8D evolutionary cycle of humanity during this cosmic shift. This at a pers personal level requires profound self-love, understanding, and spiritual purification. You are meant to elevate, to uplift, and to move into the highest timeline and collective path of those on this trajectory. Through this shift, we will see a tremendous shift in physical health, both at an individual level and a planetary level. The physical health of our body is also key in this evolution as it is the body that is transforming. Physical exercise is very important as well as diet and energy mastery. Staying in body through self-work, discipline, and grounding is key in this cycle. Your physical health and well-being should be a priority. I was unaware of how important the martial arts is for me until I recently learned that I prematurely ascended in a past life and could not continue my mission. I cannot stress enough the importance of the physical vessel and self-care. Also know on the other side, health will reign. You are stronger than you think. Tiamat is coming through. There are two definitions or entities defining Tiamat. Tiamat and Tiamat with an E, one with an A, one with an E. Tiamat is the planet and Tiamat with an E is the goddess. I'm pretty sure those can be shifted around depending on interpretation. They are the same being portrayed differently as Tiamat is the primordial mother who created the earth. She is the mother of dragons and the phoenix. She is the seed of earth and of humanity birthed through chaos and destruction. Atlantis as a civilization began on Tiamat and was transferred to earth as early as earth was established. The Jedi originated from Tiamat before earth even existed and before Atlanteans, Egyptians, and the Knights Templar reign of these supernatural beings. All of this is connected through a thread of divine knowledge and linking our human origins, destiny, and evolution. It is all converging in this time field and spiral of time to define our next moments, evolution, and cycle. Tiamat on this level represents the necessity to understand and integrate the eternal nature of the soul and to become aware of your own soul's journey through time and space. Your birds from galactic stardust, earth, ocean, and fire. Most distortions in your own self-perception or of other perceptions of you 
are simply a projection of misunderstood or hidden fears. Soon enough, there will be a powerful rebirth and you will realize you are a light warrior here to usher in the changes we now see happening on the world stage, as well as within the self and all other selves. It is time to create from the genius, wisdom, and grace within. Continue to move forward and know that your plans will reach fruition. There is a call to true divine union for most of the collective, and this is in the highest perspective as union union with all that is, with source. Many will need to go through schooling, and this is not something that can be taught per se. It is something that must be self-learned. So if you are not sure how to navigate the internal fields of information and light to begin to unveil the higher dimensional schools of self-learning and self-evolution, this is where you should start. For those who have already explored the universities of the higher realms, again, just like last week, you are being encouraged to build, to harness your vision for the future, the blueprints you have already built, and begin to truly create from the realms of the miraculous. That is it. Sending love.